and I'll keep it A big news for Arsenal fans overnight. Yeah, big news and surprising news. Mm. Interesting developments at Arsenal overnight. They look to have picked the successor to their long-term manager, Arsene Wenger, and it is the former Paris Saint-Germain manager, Unai Emery. Spaniard is a surprise pick. The club had been expected to hire former player Mikel Arteta, so they're set to appoint him by the end of the week, possibly. He emerged as the unanimous choice to succeed Wenger. So, should we find out who he is? Emery spent most of his playing career in Spain's second division after rising through the ranks at his hometown club, Real Sociedad. His playing career was ended through injury in 2004 while at Lorca in the Spanish third tier. He was offered the manager's job there and later went on to manage Almeria, Valencia and Spartak Moscow. But it was in Sevilla where he flourished, winning the Europa League three seasons in a row. And at Paris Saint-Germain, he won four domestic cup trophies and took the league title just a couple of weeks before he left. Well, I'm joined, we're both joined now by our sports correspondent, David Ornstein, who is the man who alerted Morning. us to this <laughs> last night. Morning, Hi, David. Sally. Come on, what do you know and how did you find it out? Well, this had been brewing for quite a long time, I think, in terms of obviously the Arsenal appointment. They were keen to conduct a very thorough, detailed, diligent process ever since Arsene Wenger announced that he would be standing aside at the end of the season. And they worked their way through a long list onto a short list and... From that, it emerged that Mikel Arteta, the Manchester City assistant manager, former Arsenal captain, was the leading candidate. What we don't know is, behind the scenes, were Arsenal really moving towards Emre at that point? We didn't think so. We thought Max Allegri of Juventus, or a huge name like that, was the key man in the frame. But as the, the time moved on, it seemed that perhaps Arteta wasn't the done deal that we all thought, because they would have closed that if it was and Emery came up on the rails. Now, it's my understanding that he was the unanimous choice of the Arsenal decision-makers. Uh, that decision was made by three executives who will put the decision to the board of directors, the American owner, Stan Kroenke, and it will be Emery who takes the job. Why him, then? What, what is it about him over the other candidates that they have been talking to? Well, it's a decision that will divide opinion. It already is among Arsenal fans. However, he's 46 years old, so he's got youth on his side. He comes from Paris Saint-Germain, where he won the league title last season, won four domestic cups also in his two seasons at the club. Prior to that, he won three trophies, the Europa League, three times in a row with Sevilla in his native Spain. That, of course, is the competition that Arsenal are competing in. So he does have pedigree. He's happy to slip into their continental model, working with a director of football and a head of recruitment. His English is not great, ah. it must be said. He will need to work on that. But he's seen as a safe pair of hands for this job. Perhaps not the gamble or the huge name that many were expecting, but Arsenal are happy with their decision, and we should hear from them and him later this week. Succeeding Arsene Wenger after 22 years, not mm. an easy uh, set of shoes to fill. And you caused havoc in the newspaper industry last night, yeah. didn't you? You broke the news about, what, seven? Was Quarter it? to eight. Quarter to eight, yeah. And uh, all the back pages have to be very hastily adjusted this morning after that news came out last night. Just the night. way we like it. Yeah. Very good, David. <laughs> We're very proud of you. Thank you. Even if I try, even if I wanted to, and I can't change. Even if I try, my love, my love, my love, she keeps me warm. She keeps me warm. She keeps me warm.